Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about, I found a horse. I actually found a horse, you guys. Like, it's shocking, shocking. I found a horse and I think it's the perfect one. Like, it's so weird that when I find a horse, my immediate reaction is, oh gosh, what am I gonna do? Like, it's nerve wracking. Buying a horse is nerve wracking because once you buy a horse and you bring it home, it's the bonding and the, the connecting and the settling in is so hard and it lasts so long and it's just a lot of work. Like, but yeah, I found her. So I would say that it's a mare. Wait, before I say anything. Hi. Hi. I have a rock in my foot. Okay, take your rock out. Do you have your, uh, do you have your How many boots? boots? Have to have, yes. Okay. So the thing about this horse is that so oh my god she's so pretty oh my god she's so pretty so i don't know if i'm getting her yet like we're just in early negotiation talks like she said she'll only sell her to a good home blah 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 we are a good home, we are a good home. but you know what i'm a beginner rider and it's winter like how much charger done? how much riding am i gonna get oh boss got gabby is here oh yeah we are in a hurry what the heck am i thinking yeah. anyways so like I'm gonna pray on it and see if God what God tells me if I see any visions of this horse But imagine what my dream horse would be like imagine all the things that I want in a horse Stella. And then that's this horse like this horse is no, we don't want it as wobbly as Stella. Stella so yeah, wobbly. no this horse it felt like you were going like that Hard to balance yourself. Yeah, she wasn't very good balanced. She was she had issues. But she was amazing. But she was amazing. She's and pretty balanced when she gallops. But yeah, not. when she gallops, yeah. And um, but anyways, this horse is older, broke to death. It's done everything. It has done water, it's done night riding, it's done like she's older. That's the lady's personal horse that she's having to sell, and she's trained her to the max, like she's she's broke to death like yeah exactly what i want so i'll, I'll update you guys more later i'm sure i'll talk about it more because i'm super excited i'm just waiting for her to email me back i had to email her like a resume <laughs> basically a who we are and what we are going to do with the horse and all that kind of stuff so when she approves us we'll probably go see her all the back there from his feet because I, I made him walk um i was out talking to some of the ladies that board here and the girls that were getting ready sometimes i find that they're faster it's not treat thinny. Sometimes I find they're faster if I'm not in here watching them. Anyway, the reason we had to come to the barn this morning, this early, is because I have to take I have to take Jessie to the doctor. Jessie's my daughter-in-law. If you guys, if you guys are new to the channel, um, she's the mom of two of my grandkids and a baby. She's a new baby, a one-month-old baby, and she has to go to the doctor for her checkup. And so. I'm gonna watch baby Jack, who's not the baby anymore. He's almost two. Um, so this morning, basically this afternoon, I have plans. He's, his birthday's in January. So he already had his birthday? No, it's coming up. He's almost two. I said he's almost two. So he's already one. When was his first birthday? Uh, January. But he was zero because he was born on January. Right. So he. So, so uh, he's last. Zero. Last January he turned one. Why didn't we celebrate? We did. Didn't. We went to their house and had a party. No, that was because they wanted food. No, we went to a house, their house and had a party. Uh, Sophie, you have to clean this boy's feet before you can get on him. Give me a brush and I'll help you. Is she cleaning your feet, Chino Bambino? Yes. Look, I see white on him. I see white. Everybody thought he had no white. I see it. Do you guys see it? It looks old. Hmm. You're gray. Who cares? He's got a fleck of white, you guys. A fleck of white. He's just on his main too. Just the street. Okay, so the horse. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I have to wait and see. Like, just because you inquire about something doesn't mean it's going to work out. Like, I had a good talk with this lady. I'm just waiting for her to decide. But the horse is 14. And like I said, it does everything. It's her own personal horse. So she's trained this horse to do everything. It rides in the snow, it rides at night, it rides through water, it trailers. It's like trained, it's a super trained. The only thing I don't know about is that it's a different breed. It's not a Pasofino. It's a bigger boned, bigger horse. So that's better, but and it's a gated horse, a gated horse. Like I know all horses move differently. Like she says that this horse is smooth as glass. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust her, I'm gonna believe her. Storm. Uh, he's with Pat. He's with her. At the big field of horses. Oh, okay. Awesome. 
Oakland's right there though. Yeah, our horses are separating guys. They all found their own friends. And uh, judging by uh, the looks of things, Oakley's out there with my girl, but she's not my girl. I know that. But he, she, Oakley's, there. Oakley's out there with the with the girl, with the beautiful girl. So if you guys are thinking that I'm gonna get a pretty horse, she once tried to run me over recently in the field, but I didn't move, and she was like, "Oh my god, it's so scary." And I'm like, Gabby doesn't Gabby doesn't support me. And I was like, like oh, Gabby, oh Gabby's the kind of person that she has to like. She has to like it herself to support somebody. Like if she doesn't like your horse, then she's not gonna like your horse. And I want her to like my horse. Did you even see a picture of my horse? Yes, I did. It's a paint. Do you like her? No. Gabby doesn't like her. Like because she doesn't like her for her. We forgot to bring the other scarecrow. But anyways, I'm gonna obviously get what I want. It's just important for me that Gabby support me. So Gabby will support me. I know. It's just that I don't know. Without Gabby's support, it'll be really hard for me. So, and I know that she will rise to the occasion, but every time I have, like, even when I said the name of the breed, Sophie's like, no, that is not the horse for us. I'm like, but it might be the horse for me. And then I did show it to Brandon, and Brandon said, ooh, he was really excited. And then, oh, I forgot to tell you, there's another horse. Like, so yesterday I posted a video, video saying, like, I can't find any horses, and every time I find one, they are available anymore. And then, so I followed a couple of leads a couple of nights ago. So when I was looking the other night, I followed one lead, I messaged about a horse, and she was not for sale. And then I asked the lady, well, do you have any gated horses for sale? And she messaged me back and said, like, I wasn't planning on selling my girl, but I need to sell a horse, so I'm considering it. And then, I, somebody, I saw somebody else selling a horse on, like a friend was selling a horse on Facebook. So, and she's a horse seller, and I said, if you ever come across a gated horse, let me know. Because she just sold one, just when I was looking, and I didn't know, and he would have been perfect for me. And this other lady commented on it and said, hey, I have four gated horses, and I'm willing to sell one. And then she sent me pictures of a horse. So, I have options, you guys. The only thing with the, her horse is that he's only five. So, I definitely am a little leery about that. Yeah, Finn's only nine. Sophie says Finn's only nine. Finn's only nine, but think of all the work you had to get to. I know, so my horse will be older than all of your horses. All of our horses except for Willow. Uh, younger, how old is your horse? 14. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, it's good for me, Gabby. Older is better for me. I know, depending on the breed and depending on the horse though, some horses go for long periods of time. Especially because I'm not going to be jumping and stuff, I'm just going to be doing like a lot of trails. Yay, good boy. What a good boy. The other thing I learned, yeah. The other thing I learned through this whole journey is that I don't like running in the arena and just going around in circles and testing my skills. I learn better. I'm an eclectic learner, which means I learn better doing. So when I get on those Pasofinos and we just go riding and I have to figure it out or die, I just figure it out. Like, that's how I learn better. So who knew, but I actually like, I like it better going out and going in the woods and doing stuff on a horse. Like, I love it, you guys. Like, I'm excited. Can you tell I'm a bit excited? So Finn's saying he doesn't want to be ridden today. Good boy. He needs to learn how to stand him. Yeah, he's gonna poop. Poop on this end so that I can clean it up easy. Sure, circle over here and get all the poop out. Yeah, I'll go around the whole arena. Finn is not the kind of horse to poop near the bucket. He's the kind of horse that only poops far from the bucket. Some horses are easy going. Some horses like to poop far away to make you, they, they get, horses get revenge. You might not believe it, but horses absolutely 100% get revenge. So Sophie wants a Western saddle. So I have to do some barrels and then do in our lessons. So be prepared for that, you guys. There will be a Western saddle in our future for this pony because Gabby's gonna do the jumping and Sophie's got the barrels, fake barrels out because she really likes that. She, she loves that for fun and entertainment. It's amazing to me how your journey with your horse is so individual and you like the things you like and that's it. Yeah, that's awesome, Sophie. Okay, shorten. Shorten. There's short and there's long.
Wait, wait till she gets it. No, she does get it. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's short. Now watch her go long. Just to prove a point, here's Finn's poop. That's where I was. That's amazing. He likes it. This is gym class, you guys. This is homeschool gym class. Look at how handsome he is. We have to go a little tighter. Okay, go. Do it. We are not together. They're too close together, that's why. Yay! So you guys will have already seen what like we did lessons this week with Fiona. It was our last lesson. Fiona makes me go like this. Yeah, and Sophie's learning to sit up. She was learning to sit up. It's too bad because it was a really good lesson and it's ended. It's ended. Fiona will be back in a few months though and she will still yeah, train us again, but she's having time off this winter. Are we only having one lesson a week? Yeah, one lesson a week. We're gonna have to practice. working on lead changes. She's a force to be reckoned with today. I don't think she had enough lunch. I don't think she had enough breakfast. She had popcorn again. You had to hold on to the half pad? You had to hold on to the half pad? Why? Because... Oh, because he slows down so far. All right, so we came outside. Gabby wants to do a little bit of riding out here. It's a little bit wet, but not too bad. There's no puddles or anything. It's just a little soggy. Drying out fast though. And uh, Sophie's gonna cool out her pony. Oh, she found a barrel. I think Sophie really likes barrels. Yeah, I think you like barrels. I think Sophie really likes barrels, you guys. I see it in our future. I bet you, like, when she's 13, 14, maybe she'll get herself a barrel pony and take some barrel lessons. Life twists and turns every day. You never know what's gonna happen. Last night, yesterday, I woke up with the thought that I'm never gonna find a horse. And then this morning, I woke up to an amazing email and the possibility that I could get a horse. Like, wake up, go out there and see. Oh boy. See what kind of miracle God has planned for you. I promise that there are miracles every single day. You just have to look for them. All right, Gabby's got out her bag of treats that she wanted to show. Being able to give your horses fun, amazing, cute treats is so exciting. Green. I think Chino should get green. Oh, Chino's getting purple. He has purple bell boots. And Storm's getting pink because he's a diva. Are you giving Storm his today? No, I have to ride them. Oh, okay. So I'm giving Finn his. So Finn I got ridden today, so he's getting an so ice I cream mean, popsicle. I have, I have to ride them. So. Finn wants her to ride him more now. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's gonna love you, Gabby. Gabby ever gets the bag open. Show them the popsicle. They smell like gingerbread, I love it. Mm. All right, Finny, you're getting a green popsicle. Whoa, whoa. He says, whoa, that's a big treat. <laughs> he's like, it just kept going and going. All right, let's do Chino. 
he's getting a potion bottle? How come? Yeah, it's a really good ride on this one. Okay, so tell them why potion Chino's not. Are cute anyway. Let's show them the potion bottle. Tell them why Chino's not getting a popsicle. Chino's not getting a popsicle because it wasn't a really good lesson. I barely ride Finn, and he was really good, so he gets a popsicle. Chino was not framing, or no, Chino was not doing the leads when you asked, he right? Was kind of. Right. Gabby came to the conclusion. What's your conclusion? He only does it in shows because yeah. he does automatic ones in shows. Yeah, in the show he does automatic lead changes, but I think it's me. I don't know what it is. No, listen to me pretending I know anything, but I don't. Okay, let's show them the potion bottle. Mm, it smells like cinnamon. It smells like cinnamon. Are We're you getting ready? medicine. Yay! Good boy. Are you giving Storm anything? I'll give him other treats. He has to be ridden to get the special one. All right, let's go. We gotta go. No, he's coming for treats though. Sure, Trust yeah. me, I gave him treats. And I Who's that hey. dirty pony? Come here. Oh, he's hey. muddy. Mom, well, look at his cut. You don't know it's there until you really look at it. I know. Storm's like, Mom, I love this. I don't get ridden. But you will next time. All right, let's go. Goodbye, boys. Have fun, play with your friends. We'll be back tomorrow night. We'll be back to not, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we'll see you. Doesn't our riding arena look so pitiful? It's actually almost winter. And because it's almost winter, I need to get all my like furniture and stuff inside because if we move in the winter, like you never know what will happen, you guys. If we move in the winter, I wanna bring all this stuff with us. like. I love our t painted tires and I love, and I want to keep them. So today, before I go pick up Jack, I am going to, well the girls and I, and the, the puppies, are going to bring everything in. Even you. Oh, It is heavy. So this is like our cat's jungle. This is their cat jungle. Oh, I was walking so through cool. here, yeah, and he's so excited. I caught our Sophie's kitten in the middle He's of a dead. kill. So he caught that big huge rat right there. Is it a rat or a mole? Mouse. Mouse. Anyways, I, he wasn't even dead when I got here. Ollie's over there. She got, or he got scared by the dogs. The dogs came running. But basically, the dogs never come out here. So this is where the cats kind of take their... Still but they're out here. Yeah. They, they are out here living, living it up. So that's his kill. And he was like really killing it. This dog, what does this dog do? Um, is mad right now because she wants to go up to the house. And she wants down. But she talks. She tells us when she's happy and when she's sad. Alright, let's go. The female cat, Lexi, is over here somewhere. Alright, so we got some of the stuff in. We got all the stuff that was over by the pool. We got all the cushions. Our cushions got super dirty this year. Just the ones that go on the bottom, uh, but that's okay. Mostly from the rain and leaves and stuff, I guess. Running, the color running. But uh, they all Hi. wash. They wash up pretty good, so hopefully. Let me show you what she's looking for when she comes in here. Yeah, so this is crazy. Like this dog. You ready for it? Molly, look. Molly, look. She's already ready. ready. She loves this thing. Yesterday, Gabby was in the bathroom and she picked up a necklace and she was showing it to Molly. Molly assumed because it was silver and it was in her hand that it was this light. And she was looking at the ground, looking everywhere for the light. Right. We got Jack Attack. I call him Jack Attack. Say hi. Look, who's that baby? Right here. Right here. Look. Right here. <laughs> Jack. Right here. Look. Look. He's like, I want to look outside. Anyway, I'm here at the doctor's. I got Jack here. Jesse went in with the baby. You're not allowed to take other people in. That's why we were watching the baby. But we drove them. We drove, and he's sitting in the front seat. Wow. Whoa. He sees a boat, you guys. Um, like a good Nana, I brought a fun book that, oh, look at that. You want to read it with Nana? You want to sit in the other spot? It's a puzzle book, you guys. It's ABCs, and it has puzzles in there. Wow. Wow. And I got Gabby and Sophie in the back, and Molly. I told them they could stay home, and they wanted to come. They never want to go anywhere, but they wanted to come. They wanted to come and see you, Jack. Hey guys, we are home and I just got an email and I wanted to end this vlog by telling you guys that the lady said that I could buy her horse. I, she approved me 
I have to give her vet references, but we are in really good standing with our vet. We are up to date on all of our rubies. Like, touch me, touch me. We are up to date on everything that our horses need. We have care. We have their shots every year. We do their teeth all the time. Like we, we have a really good. We are in really good standing with our vet. So I know that that will be okay. That will be no problem. So now we have to figure out when we're gonna go see her and it's not gonna be for at least two weeks because they live four hours away. Like, oh, honestly. So Sam and I, Sam's editing. I'm sitting down to edit right now too. But honestly, that is like the price that you have to pay to get the horse that you want. This horse apparently is completely broke, dead broke. If the lady has to get off of her in the woods, she will, the, the horse will automatically sidle up to a log or anything that she needs to so the lady can get on her. She said she's older and she's not very agile and the horse helps her to get on all the time. The horse is 15.2 hands high, 15.2 and she's a big stocky girl. And um, she's so broke, so safe. She's done everything. Like, this is the horse that I need. This is my dream horse. And not to mention that she crosses all the boxes. She's exactly my dream color, my exact dream look. Like, honestly, like, it's like God picked this horse for me. But I'm not gonna get ahead of myself because you guys never know what's gonna happen. I asked Brandon to go with me and try her and he said yes. And then I told him how far it was away and he said, um, <laughs> so I don't know how that's gonna go. Um, it might be just Sam and the kids and I. It's gonna take all day. So he doesn't want to go, but I want Gabby to go because I want Gabby to ride her first. But this lady says I have no problem getting on and riding her. And but you know, like I could be riding through the snow with friends this winter. Like I'm just really excited. And here we are, you guys. We are at the beginning of another. I'm about to get a horse journey. Like who knew that we'd do this twice? Anyway, I'll keep you guys posted. And that is it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Say goodbye, Ruby. Say goodbye. And Molly. And where's the other one? Uh-oh. Ah. I don't know where Daisy is. Oh, Daisy's right there. Oh. And Daisy. <laughs> see you guys and later. Don't you know that you're beautiful?